Yo Libra, welcome to your December 1st half reading. This is from the 1st to the 15th. No babble on this video. You know the score for those of you that have been with me a while. For the, for the new people who are watching, please read the description box below. That will give you all your information. So Libra, what has the first half of December please? What messages do you need to know for the first half of December? What messages does the universe have for you? The sign of Libra, please. Messages for the sign of Libra. Mm, the past. Are you thinking about the past, Libra? Is somebody from the past thinking about you? Someone from your past is going to make a big decision and I feel they are coming towards you and when they arrive, there will be a balance needed to handle it on your part. Now you can switch energies. This could be you making the decision to get to reconnect with somebody from your past. And before people write lots of comments about lovers, ex-boyfriends, whatever, somebody from the past could be an, uh, an ex-college friend, a school friend, just a friend you met on holiday. It's it's such a wide scope. It's very hard to pinpoint. Let's see what the other cards say. But judgment uh, also denotes to me some kind of reconciliation. But as I said, this could be with anybody. It's not necessarily an ex lover. So please don't write in the comments about ex-lovers done this, ex-lovers done that. The temperance card is, is can also, all three of these cards are connected with reconciliation. And because you've got two major arcana here, this is divinely guided. That's what it's saying to me. You are meant to reconnect with this person, whoever they are. Let's have some more cards, please. Yeah, somebody's going to express the feelings. Maybe ask you out on a date. But the Ace of Wands is something materialising. You've got the Judgment... The Temperance card, Major Arcana, thus above, so below. This has been Diwali. Knight of Swords, somebody's going to express the feelings. And there's going to be a lot of happiness. Ten of Cups surrounds the home. Happy families, even marriage going right down the road, further in the future. But there's, there's going to be a point in your future that is going to make you happy. This person, I feel, in the past made you happy. You like their company. It's not somebody you met like on holiday. It's somebody you had some kind of relationship status with. As I say, it could even be a, a friend from the past, a school chum, and for whatever reason you had to part. Why is the six, I'm going to clarify these. Let's see, Libra. Why is the Six of Cups here, please? Yeah, there's going to be a message. They've been watching you. Excuse me, Libra, I've got a cold, so if my voice does sound a bit stuffy, then that's the reason. Yeah, Page of Swords, you're going to get an unexpected message. They've been watching you. No. Not in a stalking kind of way, but they've been watching you for a while. And they do know you from the past. You know them. And 
this message when it comes it won't it'll be very short something like would you like it's a long time no see would you like to go for a coffee or something but non-emotional there won't be any emotion there'll be no pressure in it but I do get the feeling you won't expect it why is the judgment here please why is the judgment card here Yeah, somebody has some strong feelings. King of Cups is hidden feelings, but they're in full control, very mature. They are very much in control of their emotions. And they are a loving type person. And dare I say it, they are hubby type material, spouse type material. They can be very, very attentive. But as I say, they don't wear their emotions on the sleeve the temperance please let me clarify the temperance yeah emperor now this could switch energies if you like but this could be you or them but your temperament will need to be controlled you'll need to take control of the situation as far as to say in yourself if this is a person you don't want contact with again, don't fly off the handle and dismiss it straight away. Hear them out, see what they have to say, and make a try to make a decision based on logic and just say, okay, I will hear them out. I am getting high emotions here. When this person, when you get this message, it will spark off a lot of emotions on this this person from the past. You don't expect it. It'll catch you off guard. So what I'm saying is don't rely on basic instinct and say bye-bye straight away. That's the polite version. King of Pentacles. Now this person although they're very loving they are very stable they are very stable can be a little bit controlling they could even be they're well off financially i don't mean super rich but they they probably do own their own property you know own house or whatever so they, they are pretty stable. Okay, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, why are you here? Yeah. Yeah, high emotions, you see. This could be you, could be them. You're, when they approach you, emotions will be expressed. And as I said, emotions are running high. So just... Please temper your basic instinct and try and override it and do not dismiss it straight away. Hear them out, see what they have to say. I don't know your circumstances. So if this person is somebody you really don't want around, then you have free will. Just because the tarot cards say it doesn't mean you have to follow them. This is this to me is a a very very nice connection. That's what I'm getting. It's 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 all well meant, but as I say, we all have free will, and I don't know all of your circumstances. Ten of Cups, please. Yeah, fresh start. Four of Wands. What did I say about around the home? Now this person, when they approach you or you approach them. You could agree to move in together. And let's go for a fresh start. The bottom of the deck is the sun. So the opportunity there is for some very happy times. And the sun is overcoming a lot of obstacles. So this person approaching you or you approaching them could have had to have come overcome a lot of obstacles, in, including emotions, physical ob obstacles like distance. 
but the tarot is saying to me there's a possibility here for a very very good connection and not necessarily to live happily ever after but to to live in a, a nice environment we'll say that thank you very much for your time i hope to see you again later in the month i'm going to leave it there i wish you the very best bye for now